Okay, now let's go through the process of redeeming our voucher. All right, I received a voucher in the mail after ordering WebMI, and the key piece of information there is this voucher number. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. So I'm ready to just paste that in when I get to that portion of the redeeming process or the redemption process. Okay, now the website that we're gonna to go to is licensing.hornerautomation.com. Okay, now we need to log in when we get there. As you can see, I have a login. I just have had different capitalizations on different visits. It's all the same login, all right. All right, so the first thing we have to put in there is our device ID or our MAC address. So I'd previously written that down before going to the site. So all I have to do, if you notice, the first three are filled in because they're always the same on all OCS units. You only need to fill in the last three. So let me go ahead and do that here. 0A-C7-8C. Okay, now when I do that, it calls up and shows me that I don't have any current licenses. Now, if I was live with the OCS and had done this from within Seascape, it would also show me the used column here, but it doesn't. Okay, now, uh, it's very important here. Uh, you really should scroll up a little bit here so you can see this important <laughs> checkbox. But first of all, we have to decide, are we gonna pay by voucher or are we gonna take advantage of the free trial? And keep in, keep, um, uh, keep in mind that the free trial is actually permanently free. It's just limited to one page and five data points. But I'm going to go ahead and pay by voucher. Here's where I paste in my voucher code. Okay. And again, I scrolled up so I could see the I have read and accept the terms and conditions. I hit the redeem voucher button. Okay, this is a warning that pops up that basically says be patient. Once you hit the close button or the OK button, in this case close, it may take a few seconds. Don't, don't start pressing buttons. But in my experience, it's actually pretty speedy. So I'll go ahead and hit close now. OK, so we'll wait for the licensing to happen. Uh, if you saw that kind of whiz by, uh, a download just occurred. Also, it's given me a message that says details of your license have been emailed to your account with my email address here, and you have successfully redeemed your WebMI voucher. So that basically means I have one copy of the file that was just downloaded, the, the, the licensing file was just downloaded to my downloads folder, and they've also emailed as an attachment, and you just heard it come in there, another copy or another copy of the same file for my convenience. Okay, so that ends the redemption process of taking a voucher and converting it into a license file. Okay, now that I've received that license file, I've dragged it from my download folder onto my desktop. All right, here's the file here on my desktop. You'll notice it has kind of a long file name that includes uh, some numbers on there. Um, what we want to do before we actually put that license file on the uh, micro SD card that's in the OCS uh, is we need to rename that file. So regardless of what it's named when you receive it, it needs to be named firmware.lic before sending it to the OCS. So I've renamed it firmware.lic. I can now right click and send it to my removal media drive, which is the micro SD card from the OCS installed in my computer. All right, that's moved over. Let's double check and make sure everything worked. There it is. Okay, so now I can remove the micro SD card from my computer, put it in the OCS, and the OCS will be licensed and ready to run WebMI.